the Joe Rogan experience. That's brilliant. Yeah, like Robert Downey Jr. as amazing as he is, is always going to be Iron Man. Like that, sometimes you get one of those roles, you know, like uh, Thor, Chris Helmsworth. Mm. He's fucking Thor, dude. You're Thor forever. You know, you flirted with that. It, it depends on, and, it, and I think it depends on how many of them you do. But when you did the Hulk, were you worried about that? A, a little bit. Was there any a hesitation? Because I was surprised mm -hmm. when you did that. I, I, I was got, like, this is an I interesting get, well, choice. As is evident, I got more worried about it. Uh, you know, I, I, I was, I was very interested because I loved it. I, I, I'm not like snobby about. I loved those like comics, and I, I subscribed to them. Yeah, I, I subscribed to Hulk. I, um, all the darker stuff, like Dark Knight, Frank Miller, sure. <clears throat> the whole. All of it was really, you know, it was, it was, um, it, it, it was, it was something I really latched on to, and and I love the Bill Bixby uh, Hulk. Yeah, like he's it for me. He's always mm -hmm. it, for anyone our age. Like he's, you know, yeah. him walking away at the end of the show. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I, 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 so yeah, no, I, I, I thought it, uh, I tend to get. Just the way I felt about American History X, I actually thought American History X was sort of like Othello or Macbeth. I thought it was, that's what I said to David, he had written this kind of edgy thing with the drug plot in it. And I was like, I think you strip all that away and you literally just make this about rage destroying a person who's got a lot in him. It's like, it's like a Shakespearean tragedy, but it's just, it's skinheads, you know? And that, and that really lit David up and that's where we went with that, right? But Hulk, ha Hulk is like the, um, it's uh, Prometheus, right? The guy yeah. who steals fire from the gods for people, but he gets burned doing it, and is cursed, right? He he he's trying to take like the power of nature back out to people from the gods, and he gets burned. And that's how I that's how I thought about it. I was like, if we could do something like that, that leans into this guy who thinks he's going for something good that's gonna help humanity and he cracks open like the backside of God and and takes something out that is not meant to be taken out and now he's cursed, like cursed. You know, that that's what was amazing. Even as silly as the show was on some levels, Bill Bixby was cursed. Yeah. Like that's what, and the end of every show you were like, oh my God, he's Poor still bastard. cursed, like yeah. alone in the world and cursed, right? And there's something pretty, pretty heavy in that, like pretty, cool in that and uh and so so it was it wasn't um it uh, you know i i thought it was like really worth a crack i fucking loved it <laughs>